Games have been a massive part of culture for thousands of years. Even the cavemen played them. Indie games are just a few of the thousands of current titles that dominate the gaming market. In case you've been living under a rock for the past eight years or so, an indie game is a game developed by a small unknown company or team, or anywhere from one to about four people, give or take a few, of course. These games are incredibly unique. They give developers, even the ones that are close to poverty, a little hope, and can literally change the lives of millions of people. These are what I believe to be the top three indie games of 2014. Your favorite breakfast food can now come to life in this... odd game? In this action-packed title, you play as a piece of bread that wants to be toasted. It's obviously not the most generic plot, but the odd controls that had me sitting at the start for minutes, paired with the fun music and colorful environment, could make anyone fall in love with it. Anything from flopping on a table to falling on a skateboard is possible and encouraged as a piece of bread. Its uniqueness makes this indie feel like a breath of fresh air which is needed more often. I'm looking at you, Call of Duty. A knight? With a shovel? I had a little difficulty understanding the concept at first also. It seems that a Mario type platformer with some more function built in would not be very interesting, right? Wrong. This game is so incredibly addicting that while recording some of the overlay footage for it, I wasted three hours googling strategies and methods for winning. Beautifully crafted sprites and pixel art show that lots of time and care was put into this creation. The game itself is also absolutely wonderful. Little things such as the shovel mechanics and the bounce attack makes this title so enjoyable that I believe it's one of the best games of 2014 as well. Five Nights at Freddy's Horror games are nothing new, in fact there are thousands of them out there to make you wet your pants, but this one... This is an entirely different experience. Before I say more about it, let me refer you to a video that will explain the intricate storyline a bit better so that you can actually be scared. When I played this game for the first time, I was already scared when launching it. Uh, it crashed my computer. But after properly adjusting the screen resolution and a few reboots, I was greeted by the telephone man questionable security guard that seems to know lots more about Freddy Fazbear's pizza restaurant than you do. After winning the game for the first time, it literally feels like you just made it out alive from a war. That's how satisfying it is to see the article saying that the restaurant has been shut down. Yes! This game felt so real that I actually had to record this footage during the early morning when no animatronic robots could sneak up behind my desk and stuff me in a suit. This game was so well crafted, the purposefully fragmented story in addition to the horrifying graphics made this defining title for the horror genre. Thank you all for watching, if you enjoyed this video please leave a rating, I would really appreciate it, and don't forget to subscribe, see you next time.